Hello and welcome into Emoji Delight. It is always wonderful to have your company and I thank you for being here today. This is a series where we look at indie games that you can experience now too. Today we'll be looking at Therapy with Dr. Albert Kruger, developed by Dino999Z. So let's get right into it. Where, where the hell am I? Welcome to Kruger Health Solutions Corporation. I am Dr. Albert Gerald Kruger, and I will be in charge of your dream therapy today. Before we start our session, I'd like to go over your basic information. What is your name, my child? Taylor Lee. Age? 19. Pronouns? They, them. What brings you here today? What are your symptoms? I said I'm not sick. Exactly, see? She doesn't even know why we're here either. Perfect. Then let's start with some simple math. We just told you we don't like math. You're gonna give us a math quiz right now? I'll show you a question, and you'll need to choose the correct answer. From the four cards I provide you. Does that sound good? And 7 minus 7 is... 0. 3 minus 3. What if we get, like, one wrong? Can we get one wrong? Uh, 0. That had blood. It said help me on it, right? You... Mm. Oops, my apologies. What the hell? Was that blood? No, it wasn't. Five plus one is six. Magnificent. Wonderful job, Taylor. You got all of them correct. Let's move on to the next section of our therapy, shall we? Um, okay. For this section, we're going to play a game. Another game, a very classic one. It's called The Shell Game. As you can see, I have three cups over here, and in one of them, I will be placing a... Hmm... Pardon me, but it seems that we don't have any balls here. WTF, man, that's not a ball. That's a friggin' eyeball. An eyeball is a ball. It is a sphere. Anyways, I will be shifting these three cups around, and you will tell me which one you think has the ball. Is that clear? Yes, I know how the game works. Perfect. Here we go. Uh, select the correct cup. I think it's this one. Très bien, très bien. Okay, let's try again. How am I supposed to figure that out? Interesting choice. Next time, possibly, the correct answer is... Good effort, Taylor. Your performance wasn't the best, but I know you will do better next time. There's a next time? Wait, 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 I just noticed something. I know when I was talking before that K was there, the phone definitely did not have a smiling face and I don't like that because I don't know how I got there. Pardon me. Albert Kruger speaking. How may I help you? No, William. We're not killing it. Killing it? That we were supposed to help us. I'd prefer that we come up with a better plan before resolving into that. Shall we move on to the next section? Eh, sure. This section is a bit different. What do you mean different? I will be asking you a series of questions, and I'd like you to answer them honestly. It's an integral part of the therapy. Abstaining is not an option. You'll have to close your eyes for this section. Like this? Yes. Perfect. My first question is... What was it like growing up in your family? Mm, nothing extraordinary. What about you? What was your family like? It was also quite ordinary. Next question. If you could wave a magic wand, what positive changes would you make happen in your life? Hmm. That's a tough one. There's really nothing I'd like to change. I like everything the way it is right now. Interesting response. Something feels off. And what is that weird guitar sound? Should I open my eyes? I think we're going to open our eyes right now. Why did you open your eyes, Taylor? Last question. Have you ever had the urge to murder someone in your life? Excuse me? I don't like those sounds. I don't like the sounds. Oh, it's creepy. It's creepy. It's creepy. Okay, no, no. Or maybe dismember them, chop them into pieces, and make them into a hamburger? Why would I think about that? Ex excuse me? Of course not. This is messed up. Oh, I don't like those. It gives me the heebie-jeebies. I'm really not feeling this one. <laughs> have, 
Have you? I'm feeling really uneasy. Should I open my eyes? Yeah, we're gonna open our eyes right now. Is there anything wrong, Taylor? No, nothing. Thank you for your cooperation, Taylor. You are now free to reopen your eyes. Um, do you hear that? <sighs> My apologies for such an unpleasant experience, Taylor. Now, if you excuse me, we'll go handle that. I'll be back soon. Is that itchy and scratchy? Is that? That is definitely Kruger Corporation. I don't like the itchy and scratchy. It feels like there's some kind of things. Face to face session. I, what, I, I definitely have to give them props to making this. <laughs> it's really, it's like it really gives out that eerie vibe. There were definitely two like faces over here and there was definitely like a shadowy figure in the middle. I did not like that at all. Hello again, Taylor. I hope that you enjoyed the video. I did not. I did not. That was, um, a pretty cool commercial. He paid no attention to it. <laughs> Thank you. So for this section, I will be showing you a series of ink blots, And you will tell me what you see in them. Uh, I don't think it's a face. A moth? Oh, maybe a moth because of the wings? A bear? I don't see the bear. Is there anything wrong, Taylor? Why did you flip the paper? I don't know. It was like, it, it had like the highlight. So it's like, hmm, it's a clickable thing. A moth. Interesting choice. It definitely looks like a rabbit about to do something nefarious. I'm gonna say a rabbit. Hmm, okay. That's undeniably a face. <laughs> but I don't know what kind of face. It looks like a psycho. Quite the imagination. <laughs> I mean, he has blood, or they have blood all over their face. Let's go for... Murder? Quite the imagination. Good job, Taylor. That was incredibly fascinating. I hate to say this, but we're getting close to the end of our therapy. <laughs> Please just let me get out of here. I just wanted to say, I really enjoyed speaking with you. Would you mind filling out this post-therapy survey for me? And how did you like the overall experience? Is something going to come out and get me? Uh, would you... Oh, hey, 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 hey. How would you rate their therapist? Would you recommend Kruger Corporation to your friends? Before I let you go, can I have one last request? Sure. What is it? Will you... Sacrifice yourself for the G2 district. We need you to feed the hungry people of G2 district. My children have been starving. They'll be grateful to you forever. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. I knew something was coming up with the creepy factor coming in. Thank you for your contribution to the G2 district. Bad end. Ending one of three. Okay, so my thoughts on this game is that I really enjoyed the fact that it has a lot of atmosphere to it, especially when you close the eyes. It gives off that eerie kind of feeling. And I like that in later playthroughs, which you'll see in the extended edition, um, it gives you hints on how to get there. I really enjoyed that one. And thank you so much for being here. We're going to move on to our next game and I'll see you then. Our second game on this episode is Red Trees, developed by Caramel. Let's get right into it. That night, you had a dream. It was a strange dream filled with pain. But there was something familiar there too. Find it. Find it. Find it. Find it, 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 find it. Find where all of this pain is coming from. Good morning, Artemis. It's a nice day today. <laughs> I'm guessing my name is Artemis. The TV is covered in a fine layer of dust. Mum drew a big smiley face on it. You picked up a book. Is it a monster in your closet, or are you just happy to see me? A horror anthology. Hey, this book is yours. 
Do you even thrift, bro? Tips for household budgeting planning. Oh, that's great. I, I, I'm, I am 100% on board with the puns for the books. Artemis, are you going out? Be careful, all right? Don't go near the woods today. Oh, and if you see your mother, tell her that dinner's at 7. Oh, that's my dad. I'm going to invade this person's uh, home right now. There's a note on the table. Read it. Yeah, why not? Colin, I came over, but you were asleep. I didn't want to wake you up, but you need to borrow your watering can. So I'm taking it and bring it back later. Inside the drawer, there's a post-it note with something written on it. It's too messy for you to read, but you're pretty sure it's a love note. Because there's hearts all over it. You peek into the box. You see some gloves, a little shovel, a rake, fuzzy pink handcuffs. A bucket? Pruners? Nothing out of the ordinary. <laughs> Nothing out of the ordinary? Fuzzy pink handcuffs from what appears to be gardening tools. Okay. Oh, Artemis, is that you? My, my... <gasps> hay fever is acting up. What's wrong? Just hay fever. <laughs> Do you think you could water the flowers outside for me? A watering can should be on the kitchen table. It looks like Kitty has taken your watering cans, so we have to go visit Kitty now. The smallest spider you've ever seen is spinning a web inside the mailbox. You tell it to do its best. It reminds me of the dialogue from Undertale. Every time you say, it fills you with determination that one day the mouse will get the cheese. Oh, you're, um... Uh, I forgot your name, I'm sorry. Wait, are those cookies? May I have them, please? Give them cookies? Yeah, why not? Thank you. I haven't eaten forever. Anyway, um, why are you here? Watering can? Oh, is this accidentally kitties? Oh, here you go. Sorry for the trouble. I was going to bring it back this morning, but, well, I've been so scared to go outside ever since... Since I heard about that poor man they found in the forest. You got a watering can. There's no water in it, though. Maybe we have to go to the forest. Cat dolls? Someone really likes cats. <laughs> So I guess we got the watering can. Let's go snooping in your house. You should definitely talk to people a lot. You never know when someone might need you to do something for them or have something important to tell you. <laughs> Thanks, NPC. You press your face against the glass. You can just make out the shapes of bunnies inside. They seem to be stuffed. A bunny calendar. Somehow all the names have been changed to bunny puns. I want to know what the bunny puns are. Hello, I want to miss what you need to get through. I'm sorry, I can't move right now. If you bring me something to serve as a conduit for recently departed spirit, then I'll move for you. Okay, let's go water this guy's plants first. Water the flowers? Yes. You sprinkle some waters over the flowers. The way they nod their droplets makes you feel like they're saying thank you. Artemis, you watered all of my flowers, didn't you? That's... <gasps> thank you. It's not much, but you can have this. You got a red flower. Ooh, maybe the red flower will act as a conduit. The bunny can smell the flower you're holding. The bunny started to follow you. Ooh, it's following me. Okay, so now I can go over here and give them the flower. What is this? You found one of our rabbits? You bought it home? Thank you so much, Artemis. Here, you can have this. You got a bunny skull. Oh. I'm pretty sure that'll act as a conduit for that, that ritual that girl is carrying. Whoa, you have a skull that I can see. Can I see it? Yeah. Wow. With this, the spirits will flock to me. Thanks, Artemis. I will get out of your way now. Hello, miss. You ought to be careful wandering in out around like this. Your parents are probably very worried about you. Hmm, well, they let me roam around town. The fridge is full of food and jugs of iced tea. I like cleaning. It helps me forget about how empty my life is. <laughs> Inside this box, there's unspeakable things. <laughs> you can hear a soft hum coming from inside this box. Is there a living creature in there, like a cat? I'm getting out of this town. Living in the middle of nowhere with nothing to do was already bad enough. But now something's running around attacking people too? There's only so much I can put up with. Hey, man. What's up? What are you looking for me? No. I'm all done here anyway, so I'm gonna head home. What are you doing in the gym house? Oh, wait. Yes? Take this, I found it in a garbage can. See, by looking in garbage cans, you can find something worthy. You got a dirty shirt. Um, uh, Taze... <laughs> I really tried to sound that out until I read it in my head, and it says, Tastes bad, tased bad, protein powder. 
today's special is the feeling of being adrift in a cold, uncaring universe. It's free. Welcome to shop. Literally the only shop in town. So if you don't have it, you better not need it. <laughs> what can I do for you? Kid, I'm going to be real with you. I've gotten three hours of sleep in the past two days, and if I don't take a nap soon, I'm going to die. The floor back here isn't exactly comfortable, though. If you can bring me anything that'll help, I'll give you, um... A totally neat mystery item that I found out back. If you're here to see the mayor, you can go right through. <laughs> it's not like we do any work. There's a doodle taped to the wall. Take a closer look, of course. Caramel super cool, mega lovely ultra stunning office. <laughs> oh, what a mayor. This mayor instantly wins. What? You want to go into the forest? No freaking way. Wonder what happened to the other guy? You think I want to be held responsible for you going missing? Yeah, nah, not happening. Sorry, dude. <laughs> what a mare. What a mare. Imagine the speeches uh, Mayor Caramel gives. I mean, I'd be there. I'd, I'd be up for that all the time. You knock on the door. There's no reply. Okay, so there has to be some conditions met then. What's that you're holding? That's my shirt. I've been looking for everywhere for it. Can I have it back? What if I say no? Give the shirt back? Yes or no? Yeah. Thank God. Now I can finally get out of here. I guess it'd be rude not to thank you properly, so you can have this. I hate sweets anyway. You got a lollipop. That lollipop looks yummy. Can I have it? Give it a lollipop? Yeah, why not? Yay! Don't tell my mom, okay? You can have this. I don't want to play with it anymore. What have you got there? So do my teacups. Did my daughter give that to you? That girl. I swear. I have it back. Give her the teacup? Yeah. Thank you, hun. Please take this for your trouble. Your parents might be able to use it, uh, make a use for it. You get a bottle of floor cleaner. Are you trying to give me that floor cleaner to me? Gee, thanks. It's like, it's really my birthday. My hands are kind of full here, though. Why don't you give it to the girl at the counter? Ah, uh, yes. Hey, Artemis. Are you going to use that floor cleaner? Because if you're not, I'd be happy to take it off your hands. Yeah, why not? Here. Thanks. We're just about out. You know the lonely guy who lives east of town? He's a regular here, but since he's injured right now, he can't come get his order. I'm sorry to trouble you, but could you please take this to him? Oh, we're finally let in. How did he know? How did he, are we like the DoorDash of this town or the Uber Eats? We are the Red Town Eats or Blue Town Eats. It's also interesting to send this girl to this kind of house without any kind of supervision. An unidentifiable substance bubbles inside the pot. Dirty dishes. Dirty dancing. <laughs> You're not the usual girl. I bet they sent you because they didn't want to face me themselves, huh? I heard you banging on my door earlier. That was you, wasn't it? You wanted to know what happened. But are you really that curious? First I thought it was someone messing with me. But then I realized it couldn't be. No one's ever in the woods at that time of day. No one but me. Have they sent someone to find that thing yet? I shouldn't have said anything. Get out. Is it a pillow? It looks like crap. Whatever, I guess it'll do for me. Can I have it? Yeah. Sweet! You can have this thing I found. What is it? Well, there's a can of worms that I'd rather not open. <laughs> you got a can of worms. I just figured out that now that you can run in this town, I've been walking like a jackass the whole time. <laughs> Where'd you get that can of worms? It's not a can of worms I'd like to open. That's exactly what I've been looking for. Give him the can of worms? Yes. Thanks. Wait here a sec. Take this. You got a fish. I knew it. Let's see. Something's working there today. Ah. The cat ate the fish and started to follow you. Arthur, where have you been? I was so worried. Thank you so much for finding him. Please take this. You got a cat curl figurine. Oh, you know who can give it to? The mayor. Because the mayor has a lot of figures. Seriously, thank you so much. I might die right now. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. Uh, you wanted to go into the forest, right? Here, I'll write you a note. Give this to the kid I bribed to guard the entrance. Ah, that's the note from the mayor, isn't it? Can I have a closer look? Seems legit. All right. <laughs> I'll be here, so if anything tries to eat you, I'll just give me a yell. Wait, is it a witch? Mm-hmm. But what's a little girl like you doing so far from home? Are you looking for someone? You won't find them out here. If you know what's good for you, you'll turn back now. You can use my boat to cross the river. Although, help the strange woman? I guess you've been saying yes the whole time. What a kind girl you are. Here's my problem. 
You see, there's three things over there. You need to get them across the river, but my boat can only hold one at a time. If you can somehow get all three safely across, I might give you a reward. Try if you like. If I leave the cat alone with the flowers, it won't do anything. But if I leave the cat alone with the rabbit, it'll eat it. So I'm going to take the rabbit first. Nothing will happen with those two. And it should allow me to take the things back. I'm going to take the black cat across the river, take the bunny back with the flowers, take the rabbit, take the flowers back to the cat, and take the bunny back as the last person. Kind of think of it, though. There's another person here, so technically, would you be able to watch them? You did it. Good job. I believe you might find this useful. You got a bag of meat. Mm -hmm. Take care now. Is it something that's been eating? Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Come on out, I won't bite. There's nothing for you here. Only sad things. Dead things. Things you'd rather not think about. For a while now, the person I've most wanted to meet has been you. Come on, really? I love monsters. Because we like horror films. I think they're really cool. And the more I learned about you, the more I understood. You understood? But I've got a warm house and lots of food, and I'm sure everyone would love to meet you. So, won't you come with me? I, um... Would everyone really be okay with me? Yep. But I'm scary. Look at you, you're just a kid. You're a very strange person. You think so? I mean, in a good way, maybe. I'll come with you. <laughs> now let's go home. Yeah. I would like to see more of the story about how this monster came to be or like who, you know, like the rumors of this town. I really would like to see the prequel to this. Red Trees. I really enjoyed that. Um, I enjoyed the fact that everything in the town was almost everything in the town was interactable. Uh, there is really great funny dialogue and the story is definitely really interesting because you want to at the end of it all, um, you really want to find out how this monster came to be and um how the mayor came to be in this place with a lot of animals right there's, there's something definitely about this town and i want to know what happens at the end where the you know where the monster this creature comes back into town and what people think of them thank you for joining me we're going to move on to the next game see you soon the next game for today is called nur developed by bed bed let's get right into it i'm sorry nur Nobody lives forever. I know you wish you did. Hey, wake up. You've been sleeping all day. I know, I... Come on, Nur. You can't be stuck here forever. Yeah. Give me a minute. Meet me outside. I have a surprise for you. Look at my house. It is. Look at this place. It's well designed. I'm here. I finally fixed it. What? Our boat. I can't wait to give it a try. Hop on. Let's go. Wait, you want me to come? But I... No buts. I need to go to land town. Me and your grandmother used to go out and explore. Really? Yeah. She loved to help people with their problems. She helped random strangers? Whoa, that seems pretty cool. That's the spirit. Shall we go? Let's go. We're here. Whoa. Alright, so I need you to go to the market and get me a bottle of, um, jam. Uh, here's some money. Um, okay, let's go. Go on ahead. I'll just take a, a, a little nap. Oh, that's a lot of briefcases. Oh, hey there. My name's Pablo. Um, hi. What's with all those briefcases? Oh, I'm moving my shop up to the mountain. My fellow told me business is way better there. Well, good luck to you. I hope you'll get a lot of clients. Hey, thanks. I hope you visit my amazing soon-to-be shop. See ya, kid. Oh, sorry. I'm blocking the entrance. Let me move them out of your way. It's okay. Good evening. Has anything caught your eye? Good evening. Yep, a jar of strawberry jam, please. Great. Here you go. Thank you. You're lucky. That was our last jar. I wish. Our production hasn't been the same lately. My sister... Pan, she's been having trouble getting out of the house. Oh no, is everything alright? Yeah, she's just a little anxious, but things are getting out of hand now. 
Maybe I can help. Maybe I could talk to her. Would you do that? We tried talking to her, but maybe a fresh face would help. Yeah, I would love to help. I know how it feels being locked all day. Are you an airlift? <gasps> can we go to the mountain? Maybe we can visit his soon-to-be shop. At the end of this game, the guy with the, the suitcases, I better see he has a shop. <laughs> hey, Pam. Hi. I'm Nur. Your brother asked me to talk to you. He told me that you're having trouble leaving the house. You can't be stuck here forever. Wow, I sound just like my gramps. I'm comfortable here. Inside, I need to talk to others, and... Well, aren't we talking? Yeah, but... Not stepping out of your comfort zone isn't good. Being too comfortable makes you not appreciate life. Everything becomes the same and you start to feel bored. Believe me, I know exactly how you feel. Do you? Yeah, it all started when... See, I just went out of my comfort zone for you. Now, can you do that for me? Alright. Meet me at the station. Hello. What do you want? Two tickets, please. Fine. Wait. You can't go. You must be taller than that sign. You're telling me that climbing the mountain is safer than using the lift? Look, I don't make these rules. Does your friend want a ticket or not? Fine. If we actually go see our friend up there. Oh, look, man, I'm right here with you. I am right here joining you on the journey. Ooh. See, every step of the way, I'm meeting you there, even though you're kind of beating me because <laughs> I couldn't get over this hurdle. I left Pan all alone. I hope she's okay up there. I feel like I want to go down there just to explore what's up, but I guess um, things are not... Oh, I think if I do it like this. Ah, see if I have to angle it correctly. Oh no, the suitcase guy. Wait, what happened to his suitcases? He dropped all his stuff. How is he going to make any money with he dropped all his suitcases? Oh, what happened? Something's wrong. Ooh, okay, 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 okay. Look at that ninja move. <laughs> I mean, I do... I, this is an interesting section. I didn't expect this, but now it explains the sword that we have. So there's something... There's something corrupted here that is uh, definitely in this mountain. I hope that um, Pan is alright. Well, that was weird. Alright. Don't fall. Don't fall. Oh, this is the, the weight that we need. Okay. This is the weight that we need to get into this side of it. I gotcha. So that way we can have a way. There was no way to go up there by myself. <laughs> I'm glad we figured that out. Um, That took about... So we got the, the cases. Let's continue going forward. Oh, okay. There's a checkpoint. Good. Now we can fall. Alright, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. By chance, then by providence, we did it. I don't want to mess this up, so I'm gonna go. <gasps> oh, it's all risk. Okay, it's... No, 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 no. Okay, there, you, you have to jump really fast. My hands are sweating here. Okay, we got this, we got this. No, 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 no. Okay, this is, uh, this is a bit heart-wrenching. Who goes up this mountain? <laughs> as long as we keep the trajectory forward, we're fine. Pan? I can't. Are you alright? My chest, it hurts. I can't breathe. Please calm down. Oh no. Okay, so we have more of these things right here. Where's my health bar? Do I have a health bar? I don't know how many times I can get hit. I gotcha. Hey, calm down. I'm here. Please breathe. I'm so sorry. I hate camel cars. I can see that. Are you feeling better? N yeah, I think. You're almost there. Do you think you're able to reach the end? Okay, Pan, you can do this. Breathe. I I'll try. Don't worry. You're almost there. I'm with you each snip of the way. I mean, for the mean part, until some... Some fuckocting things happen. Oh, no... The initial thought I had for this game was it was going to be like a cute little, like, little adventure until like the battle started happening and then the platforming started happening. <laughs> These are temporary, aren't they? They had to be temporary. How did the guy with the suitcases get up this far? 
keep jumping. Okay, we got this. 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 Just keep changing. No. Ben, you made it. Oh, please tell me this is the end of this mountainous journey that we have here. I'm, I'm so sorry. I didn't know you were scared. No, it's okay. I made it. I already feel better about myself. So, I guess I should go in now. I bet you're going to look so cute. Stop. She has a bow. Oh my gosh, she looks so cute. Hey, Nir. Thanks. You helped me a lot. Don't mention it. I'm glad you feel better. Will you be able to get back down? Don't worry. I'll stay here for a bit until my brother comes to pick me up. Bye. Whenever you're near land, come visit me. Will do. Pablo? I am not going down that mountain to find your bags again. Hey, are you alright? Nobody's even here. Who would open a store in a mountain? Hmm, there's an old lighthouse back in our island. Maybe you can set up shop there. A lot of fishermen pass by our island to trade. Really? Would you do that for me? Yeah. Thank you, you won't regret it. Well, shall we go? You're telling me that climbing down the mountain is safer than using the lift? Exactly. That's the same logic that I used with the other guy. He told me to climb up the mountain because I'm too tall. I'm not tall enough. Look, I don't make the rules. Does your friend want the ticket or not? Fine. Thank you for making me leave the house. Mm, don't mention it. You know, sometimes you gotta leave your comfort zone. Yeah, I know. So I really appreciated this game in terms of the design aspect for it. I think everything like popped out color wise. If this game, like if they continue to build up on it, I would like to see the backstory as to the grandmother i'd like to see what those creatures are and i'd like to see more of the town and get interactions and help more of the characters it would be really cool to see like what happened to pan well you know who else needs help and also the the shop that you can have back there i really did enjoy this it was really really fantastic and i'm glad i got to play it Thank you so much for joining the Mochi Delights. It is always wonderful to have your company. Today we looked at Therapy with Dr. Albert Kruger, developed by Dino999Z, Red Trees, developed by Caramel, and Nur, developed by Bedbed. If you would like to check out these games yourself, check out the description below where they're all listed. And if you do decide to check out the game, let me know which one is your favorite. Until the next time, always take care. A finger heart for you. Bye.